Spartan Barkeep, Curtis. No? Great to be here as always, man. Well, we have a Bourbon Barkeep first, technically. Yeah. Yeah. We have some NDPs. Some what? Well, since we're in the, the field, whiskey tube, yeah. we just call them NDPs. But to you, they're non-distiller producers. Did we lose subs? Did we lose subs out of that? We lost four, right, when you did that. Yeah. That's fair. Different way to say that, NDPs also blenders. So they don't distill their own juice, yep. but they source other people's juices. Eh. No, you keep going down that rabbit hole. I'd love to hear you oh, talk about other people's you juices. You source other people's juices and mm -hmm. basically experiment is what I gather. Yes, you experiment with their juices. I got to the finish line. I'm going to keep going so we can't edit it out. Yeah. So we have two of these blenders, yeah. juice experts, if you will. We have K. Luke over here, mm -hmm. and we have Barrel King. Yeah. So this one, K. Luke, as of like a week ago, we were like, hey, we got the latest batch. We're good to go. Yeah. And then they put out batch nine. So we got batch eight here. Same thing. Transparency. And just like their labels, we are transparent. Yeah, the same thing. It's so, a formality, really. Eight to nine. It's just. Yeah. We try to, try to make us feel better. I think the master blender, Jonathan Maizano, smooth segue. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Little little Maizano action over here. We got, uh, he would probably disagree. So K. Luke, named after their kids, mm -hmm. Caitlin and Lucas. Shout out Caitlin and Lucas. And if- Cute, clever. If we're not allowed to shout out Caitlin and Lucas, then- uh, Shout out Jonathan. We'll just- And his wife. Let, let us know. We're gonna focus on K. Luke because this is a little more recent than our Barrel King one. Sure. And then we'll, we'll give Barrel King theirs. Mm -hmm. K. Fun. Luke, distilled in Kentucky and Indiana. Okay. And this is a blend of just a high rye and a low rye. Okay. I mean, they're doing great stuff. So we'll dive into batch eight. Mm -hmm. I do have to say, Ascots were very recent. I think batch seven won, I think, double platinum, Ooh. if I remember right. I yeah. mean, so they're out there doing great stuff. Mm -hmm. People seem to agree. We'll check them out. Yeah, before we cheers, cheers to you guys. Uh, if you've been here a few different times now, thank you for supporting us. It does mean the world. Um, if this is your first time, please hit like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy listening to us talk really mm -hmm. to the wall, more or less, it seems sometimes, but... No, the wall's right there. We well, talk out here. There's, there's walls everywhere, man. It's kind of narrow. That's true. Narrow to be area. fair, for the people that keep coming back, I, why, yeah. what are you doing? It's, fun. it's so funny. <laughs> Tell you what. Trap them. Anyway, <sighs> to you guys, cheers, man. To K. Luke, to the, the kids, the... The father and the, the wife. <laughs> <laughs> that is wow. dense. That's, that's thick and dense. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I like that word when it comes to whiskey, whether it be bourbon or rye or whatever. There's, it implies like a quality and complexity. What? It's like talking to Christopher Walken. Just, and you <laughs> see. There's like a... Like a, a cherry vanilla cola, almost for me. I'm going. Uh, I get. Uh, I go a, a little richer in terms of uh, smells, uh, yeah. way of life. Sure. Uh, I go like toffee and a little more meat, if you will. No meat, just toffee. Just oh well, no, I'm not saying you can get steak. But oh oh yeah yeah yeah. A little meat on the bone for you, if you will. A little more meat on the bones, like a toffee, a nice, maybe like a rich tobacco and... Interesting. And go hot tamale, like a Ooh. like a sweet cinnamon. Okay. So maybe like a spice cherry, but it's like a nice... I get that, yeah. Toffee, hot tamale, and mm -hmm. tobacco. Maybe even like an old book. You ever smell like opened up and smell like an old Interesting, book? Interesting, yeah. Like a nice kind of mustiness to it? Sure. I kind of like it. Yeah. Oh, that's smooth. Oh, yeah. That's nice. That's smooth, and it, I mean, that, that the punch it packs is fantastic. You said that was 118.8, is that correct? Jonathan. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's really nice. That's smooth. It's great heat, but not overpowering like mm -hmm. some of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs have been. Yeah, it's where all you get is that just, like, punch to the nads. Yeah, you're like, wow, I'm just standing here. Yeah, man. I'm just trying to enjoy, you know? 
Like I think the hot tamale graduates into the atomic fireball. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm just gonna stick with cinnamon candies. Man, I forgot about those. Yeah, but I mean that's it's hotter, mm -hmm. less sweet, still that brown sugar. The tobacco still kind of continues to where it's not this sweet bomb, mm -hmm. even though there's sweet in it. I mean, it's just a really nice balance. Right yeah, now. that's really good. Second sip, please. Itch nose. Yeah, that's really impressive. The 118.8, like, that you feel. It comes down a little bit. Yeah. But it's not, like, harsh. Like, it's, there's, it complete, it completely lacks, like, that sharpness and harshness that some of these barrel proofs, you know, we've tried in recent yeah. months. I think that's well said, because there's just a nice smoothness to it, to where it coats the palate very well. I mean, my whole tongue taste what's in there mm -hmm. and uh, yeah there's just a, a nice cinnamon bark to it mm -hmm. yeah that second sip it does like you said kind of like take a, a quick like little step back there's some cinnamon raisin toward the end there heat wise yeah that's what yeah, I mean. yeah. yeah so you're kind of able to pull back the blanket a little bit on some things like there's a cinnamon raisin you've heard of a cinnamon raisin bagel no, but my mind, as soon as you said it, it went to like the sliced bread. Uh, yeah. I can't remember who makes it. But we're not sponsored, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. But man, you throw a little cinnamon sugar on yeah. that with like butter. There, there's like a richness to it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good, man. I think right now my favorite nose of the year, which is track record wise, mm -hmm. is the Old Forester 10 year. I've loved the Old Forester 10 year. This is a very, very close second. So I think, K Luke. Hit, we're gonna score it, because this is one that came out in 2024. Mm -hmm. Barrel King, I don't even know how I came into this one. Um, this was a shelfer, which is no longer sold on so shelves. Um, they do like a s subscription service. Yeah. So I think last I saw it was like 125 a month. And they put out like a monthly new batch, if I'm not mistaken, right? They're on like batch like 80 something right now. Yeah, I don't know if it's every month, but they've put out so many batches recently, if I would think so, mm -hmm. but it's locked. You need like a password. No kidding. Yeah, I've tried everything. I've tried password. I've tried password one two three. I've tried. Just kidding. I was gonna keep going. So Barrow King is blending in Bourbon, Missouri. Bourbon, Missouri. You know how they got that name? Um, I would venture to guess that they put out some bourbon there. Put out some bourbon there. Yeah. Yep, that was it. Pretty. I mean, <laughs> A plus. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. All right, so Richard Turner. Okay. Richard uh, Turner. I guess he like had like a general store or something and then put out like a barrel of whiskey. People would go in there and then the town, which apparently was not named or had a worse name, was named Bourbon, Missouri. Yeah, whatever it was named, it implemented better now, for sure. Better now. Jared Record is the master blender mm -hmm. out there. Um, and then our whiskey tube uh, acquaintance, loose acquaintance, yeah. uh, Matt Porter from ABHD Whiskey. A lot of subscribers, you probably heard of him. He's now the master blender. Also, kind of a family affair. Him and his wife do this, and uh, I'm pretty jealous. I would do that. That'd be pretty wife. cool. Yeah. yeah. So to wrap up, Barrel King also did very well in the Ascots. I think they had like five double platinums this year. Good for them. Yeah. Um, bad Bourbon, for us because it was not batch 57. Uh, so this one's coming in 114 proof, non age stated, just straight bourbon whiskey and. Mm -hmm. We'll see what Bourbon, Missouri is, is putting out. It's made of, yeah. I feel like Missouri. I mean, can we put some respect on our name with some I mean, whiskey? Well, Holiday is the, like, kind of the front runner, I feel like, at least in Missouri, in terms of just, like, blowing onto the scene. Um, but, yeah, like, there's been many different things we've tried from the state of Missouri that's been just fantastic. Yeah. We'll see if this one uh, belongs. So, close in proof, close in price. Let's see. That's the point. Yeah. Ooh. It smells like a very rich Skittles. Like I get a lot of like just candy fruit in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of like, it sounds negative, but like processed sugar, like processed fruity sugar. Who doesn't want candy? Right. Yeah. But like when you say the word process in 2024, people can start to cringe. Barrel King coming in a little lighter than what Batch AK Luke was. Mm -hmm. Not in a bad way. Like, I feel like it's going to go a little more like a light brown sugar, some honey. Um, yeah, it won't have the same depth to it, but that, you know, is, it has its place at least. Yeah, absolutely. 
I'm going to go, maybe the Skittle is a peach ring. I get like a nice peach in there. You say that and I kind of get to it there right now, yeah. Yeah. I do get a, like a little bit of earthiness. After coming from the K. Luke, I'm struggling to get there because I felt like I my palate nose schnoz was getting a little more earth on that one mm -hmm. to where this one, it's just so much brighter. Yeah, there is. I mean, there's a ton of just like sweet candy Maybe like fruits in here. Yeah, like I get like a peach ring, orange peel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just got like a touch of uh, touch of grassiness on that nose. Wow, I could go a little more. Maybe it's because you said it, but a little more grass on the mm -hmm. on the palate, but still. That's a nice, great sweetness. nice finish. Like it's not a crazy heavy, like feel it down in my like bladder type of. But it's it's duration is impressive. Yeah, if we would have flip flopped, you know, maybe I would not speak higher. This one doesn't have the density of K. Luke. This one, you could sit there and say K. Luke, fall, winter. This one, spring, summer, and I would be perfectly fine with it, even with this being, which I don't think we said, this one's coming in at 114 proof. I mean, so you're talking 2% less. Yeah. It doesn't coat my tongue like the maple syrup of the K-Luke, but it's there. I have the Pop Rocks. Like, I know that I'm drinking... Pretty substantial. Over 110. Yeah, pretty substantial in terms of proof. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still getting a little bit of that, like, uh, it's not necessarily earthiness. Like, there's no... Um, I think grass was nice. I mean, Yeah, there's no, like, dirt kind of, type of flavor. Yeah. You know what I mean? They, but it's, like, more, like, kind of, like, fresh grass. You're out there mowing. Yeah. You know? Right. Yeah. I, I do still get your kind of candied fruits as well. Like, that didn't really just completely go away either. Yeah, there's still a lot of sweetness. I still get light honey vanilla mm -hmm. this is a great proof you know you start getting into those this drinks hotter than 118 mm -hmm. in a great way this drinks 114 in a great way yeah you can get the flavors it's straightforward you know you're drinking a high quality um going from very dense to fantastic spring summer pour mm -hmm. Yeah, Probably this is great for it. this time of year. I will say that. Yeah. Um, I think the thing that doesn't help it, I mean, you're talking to get this bottle, this batch, 125 And you have to subscribe in the sense that, like, you have to unsubscribe if you don't want a new bottle every month, I yeah. would assume. I mean, you may... I don't know how easy it is or hard it is to yeah. skip, to be fair, but... That's a little off the wall in a bad way for me. Like, just put your shit on the shelves. I, I wouldn't sit there and crucify him over it. I do wish, especially being in Missouri, like I wish I could support them more, mm -hmm. but 125 plus shipping. A month. Based off of what I'm tasting here, I would have a very tough time. Sure. Take that for what it is. Um, K. Luke does qualify for our 2024 Whiskey of the Year. It sure does. So I'm very curious. You are welcome to revisit, because mm -hmm. I know Barrel King's on your, on your palate. Yeah, I will revisit once more. Okay, so grading the K. Luke 2024 Bourbon Barkeep Whiskey of the Year sheet. That's mm -hmm. where this is going to go. Um, that sheet is included in the Patreon, which is below if you have any interest in seeing that, seeing all that we've tried this year mm -hmm. and where this stacks up. So we grade on two different categories, one being senses, which is an all-encompassing noses, palate, finish, um, without taking price into account at all. How much do we like the bourbon? That's all we're focused on there. Yep. And then bank for the buck is the other category, and we're only focused on the price. Will we buy it again for that same price? Will we pay more for it? Will we pay less for it? What are you we, getting it for? We, yep. Yeah, will we never buy it again? That sort of thing. So, senses, would you like to start us on the K loop? I feel like I'm going to start out pretty aggressive. I liked I really it. liked it. Yeah, really liked it. I think I'm 88. 88, wow. I was going to go 84. I was going to go on the south side of 85. I was like... 87 and then batch eight. I was like, I got excited about eights. Mm -hmm. I think sure. it's 88, but okay. it's above mid 80s for me. Mm -hmm. I, I love it. Yeah, 84. That, yeah, it's it's a great, great bourbon. I love it. Like a, the third step, mm -hmm. 
the third sip, like there's like this like blackberry cobbler. Co I mean, it's evolving. There's and so many layers. Yeah. I think it will keep opening, which is great. Mm -hmm. Large fan. Yeah. One ten. Um, Sealbach. Let's. I don't know if we mentioned this or not. The link is down below. You can at least buy batch nine, batch eight sold out. Uh, but there is a link in our description. 110, sometimes they do free shipping. Take that for what it is. Yeah. Um, 110 MSRP. Um, you don't know the age? Yeah. So this is a bang for the buck that I'm going to probably struggle with a touch because I love it. Mm -hmm. But that is north of pretty much... 100. You know, it's north of 100. Well, it's north of 100, but it's also north of probably 90% of the... You know the barrel proof, the 120 type of type of bottles that we typically go for, the Booker's, the Elijah Craig's, the Larsenies, like all that kind of mainstream stuff. Like you're sure. paying an extra 20 bucks for this. That being said, it's worth the extra 20 bucks. That's this is better than the first two Booker's of this year. Of course, and it's probably pretty significant. And I'm gonna go 65. I'm highly intrigued by batch nine, which means. Like I'm probably paying more for batch eight as well. Mm -hmm. I'm with you. I don't know how to push me into 75, 80 when it comes to this bang for the buck. Yeah. I mean, you're talking 110. I feel like I'm getting my 110 and more. Mm -hmm. If this was, you know, alongside the 80 to 90 dollars that Elijah Craig and Booker's are charging for their barrel proofs, like that would be like an 80 bang for the buck type of bottle. I mean, the recent take out Elijah Craig C batch. The Larceny, the last couple bookers, this does run laps around them. Mm -hmm. So can't yeah, can't endorse more. Yeah, uh, bang for the buck. I'll go, I'll go seventy. Not in the sense of same as you. You're asking hundred fifty. I'm I'm probably out unless yeah. I have that free shipping promo code. Yeah. But uh, for what I'm getting for my one ten, this is this is kind of this is like a. Nice, it's maybe not a special occasion, but this is kind of like a every once in a while type of feeling really good Friday night type of pour. Man, good job, K. Luke. I feel like we didn't do Barrel King a great job, and that was a great pour and a, exactly what I need. I love the proof. I definitely would love to sample what they've been doing recently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the whole subscription thing, I'm going to be completely honest, it does kind of turn me off. I don't care about the subscription as long as it's easy to skip or cancel. My problem is, is at least these two batches, which they could be doing something very different, better, could be the exact same. To be more, I'm going to spend my hundred dollars at K. Luke. Mm -hmm. That's that's my problem right sure. now. Sure, fair enough. But those were two fantastic pours. I was really looking forward to this episode when K. Luke came in, so I'm happy we could finally do it. Agree. And then give some blenders. Some love. Some, yeah. Even we, though the Ascots gave him a ton we, of love. We haven't done this much at all. Um, we've really stuck with kind of the, the distillers making their own juice. And it's it's cool to kind of branch off and do something new for sure. Yeah. I'm rooting for them. Rooting for the creativity. And we'll see where they go. To you guys, thanks for visiting. Uh, please visit again one more time. Like and subscribe if you uh, felt our conversation worthwhile. I uh, would appreciate it greatly. So It could have been smart. It we'll could see. have been kind of smart. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. Cheers, we'll guys. See. Appreciate it, man.